said, boom, it's your boy, LBD, Black Earth Discussions, 3GD, 3G Deception, the boy Fed, Uncle Fed, uh-uh, it's Canopatin, Uncle, Granddaddy, look, man, we're going to go into time. Who gets the right to control time? Now, you right here, you're looking at the sponsors of last year for last year production inside of the Crown Plaza. These are the brothers, the Dazzler brothers, the German brothers. The G is for Germany. Germany. That's what Zach said. Zach TV said you niggas better get it right. The G is for Germany. What G is he talking about? Because Adidas and Puma sponsored that show last year. Now you got Anno Lucis. That's just like saying AD. The time. So you got to get up out of this bastard language that we, that we speak. He can't speak no English. So what? It's just some bullshit ass, chocolate up ass spell, spelling words that they didn't gave us. Now you see the BC? In the BC, before Christ, before the common era, in the AD, El Domini, Dominia, that means in the year of our Lord. See, this is why these Masons think they got a little something over you. Because they wrote all of the religious books. But I keep saying it, but people think it's a goddamn game. The G is for Germany. And I think Zach TV was dead on the money. The G is for Germany. Because the Jews who have constructed all these stories, these Jews are Germans. You dig what I'm saying? And when you're dealing with AM and AL, that's Anno Mundi and Anno, Anno Lucy. And Lucy it's the light bearer for the motherfuckers who represent the Baphomet. Man, this shit ain't hard, man. This shit ain't hard. All these things we're seeing in the Crown Plaza has German ties. We even let Germany control the time. Because when you're dealing with Anno Lucy, you add 4,000 years onto the time that they're giving you now. Because they corrupt the time and start counting backwards. So the time will still be fucked up. It's just the time that they took over time. It's the time that they took over time and demonized from your script, they call your script the demonic text, and took over. As you've seen, that says September the 14th, 1916. A lot of light was shed on the case on September 14th. Let's see. Rico got out of jail. Jack TV, Jack TV did an interview on the red couch. Huh? Zach TV came out on the 14th, tweeted that they all were there at the hotel. You can go down to the basement and see Sunday Avenue. But, uh, very crazy, right? So you ain't got to deal with BC and AD no more. Come on back into time. And you'll be on your way seeing 6,018. But that year right there is still fucked up. That just let you know the year that they took over God's, I mean, almond time. When they began to literally write you out of your mind and control time with that fake ass compass. I've been told y'all, a true compass points north 
Our North is a universal principle that can't be broken. The North Star is set and stationary. You dig what I'm saying? So this right here is just like a the, the shit that went on with Kanika. Man, it's just like a little a little play game. You see, you see because these two brothers, Rudolph and Adi. Man, these brothers been had a few going on. And I told y'all way last year that Adi Dassler died on September the sixth. Now we go on up and we'll met the fourteenth floor as we'll met. And we see the worship temple. And the man who created this youngest religion that I'm talking about, this is the youngest, the newest, the youngest religion it is, the Baha'i faith. I call it Tri Tri because it's a nine point star. And they got three more religions to give you. I'm trying to tell you some good shit. The first time he spoke on Western soil over here was September the, the 10th. 1911. But y'all ain't gotta listen to me, man. But the truth don't need no help. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm gonna leave you with a couple of symbols. And with that being said, you know my last words. Boom! Oh yeah, twelve points with the thirteen in the middle. In the middle, you know what I'm saying? The German in the middle. But look, I came back on her right quick to say Irene's birthday, so she was the one lucky enough to wear Rudy shoes. That's why I, Irene had on them Pumas, the red and white Pumas. Boom.